Jet Airways production presents Black Comedy. Cast in order of appearance, we have Miss Harsha Pathare as the Oity Toity Pegs, Miss Carol Melkit, <coughs> Zia Sheikh as the Artist Gone Wrong, Brinsley Miller, Ria Murthy as Squeaky Miss Furnival, Deeraj Waswani as Damn It the Blast, Colonel Melkit, Connell Lobo as Pink Panther, Harold Gorringe, Radhika Vora as the Sexy Miss Clear, Juliana Fernandez as Yakety Yak, Miss Franzen Shupanazi, and Agneta DeMello as the Triple Seven Millionaire, Miss Susan Bamberger. On sets, Jude D'Souza. Lighting and sound, Jude D'Souza and John Kennedy. Art direction, Miss Namrata Goel. Creative design, Milin. Hair and makeup, Nageshwar Rao and Geeta. This play would not have been possible without the endless support of the entire team in Bangalore, Mr. Harish Shinoy, Mr. T.R. Giri, Mr. Mina, Ms. Minal Nayak, Mr. John Victor, Ms. Archana Chitkara, Mr. Ashutosh Shukla, Mrs. Sucharita Gautam, Mr. Sam, Elton Nathan, Ruchika Bharadwaj, Ms. Priyanka Mukhya, Ms. Neha Obroy, Mr. Ronaldo Ryan, Mr. Rajesh T.S., Mr. Robert A., and Mr. Vikramaditya Muttukori. Costumes. <laughs> Costumes, Harsh Gupta and Miss Namrata Goel. Production, Shushma Pandit, who's not here with us today, and Agneta DeMello. Associate Director, Miss Plesla Gonzalez. Director, our very Miss Namrata Goel. Requesting our director, Ms. Namrata Goel, to say a few words, please. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for being here tonight. I'm not going to bore you all with too much of information. Just a quick summary of what the play is about. Uh, there's a, it's a play called Black Comedy by Peter Schaefer, and the fuse in the play goes off. But actually, when the fuse in the play goes off, the lights on the stage come on. So it's exactly the opposite. When you watch it, you'll understand. But I want you all to support our team because this is the first time that they're actually on stage performing a play. They're non-professionals. They are our airport staff and cabin crew who've never performed in their lives before. So are you all going to be a great audience? Yeah. Are you all going to cheer for them and scream and shout and clap? Okay, so I hope you all enjoyed the show and thank you very much for being here tonight. There! How do you think the room looks? Fabulous! I wish we could always have it like this. That lamp looks divine there. And those chairs are just the right color. I told you, green would look well in there. Suppose Harold comes back. He's not coming back till tomorrow morning. I know. Suppose he comes tonight. You know, he's mad about his antiques. What do you think? He'll say, if he goes to his room and finds out, we have stolen them. Don't dramatize. We haven't stolen all the furniture. Just three chairs, the sofa, the table, the lamp, the bowl, the flowers, and few antiques, that's all. And the Buddha, that's more valuable than anything. Just look at it. Do stop worrying now. You don't know Harold. He's mad about his antiques. He won't let anyone touch it. Look, we put everything back in place as soon as Miss Bamberger leaves. Now stop being dreary. Well, frankly speaking, we shouldn't have done it. Anyway, Harold or no. Good heavens, why not? The room looks divine. Just look at it. Darling, Mrs. Bamberger is a multi-millionaire. She lived all her life against this sort of furniture. Our few stolen bits aren't going to impress her. If you would ask me, it would look much better if she found me exactly as I really am. A poor artist, it might touch her heart. It 
might, but that certainly won't impress Daddy. Remember, he's coming too. As if I could forget. Why you had to invite your monster father tonight? Oh, not again! That's bloody too much. If your father thinks that I'm a fit husband for you by just seeing a famous collector buying my work, I don't think he deserves to have me as a son-in-law. He just wants some proof you can earn your own living. And what if Mrs. Bamberger doesn't like my work? Of course she will. Do stop worrying now. I can't. Get me a glass of whiskey. I got a feeling this is all going to be a disaster. An A1 disaster. A copper bottom 24 carat disaster. Look darling, you know what they say. Faint heart, never won. Fair lady pegs. How true. The trouble with you is, you are what daddy calls a determined loser. The more you talk about your daddy, the more I hate him. I hate military men. In any case, he is bound to hate me. Why? Because I am a complete physical coward and he will smell it on my breath. Look darling, all you have got to do is stand up to daddy. Daddy is only a bully when he thinks people are afraid of him. Well, I am. You haven't even met him. But that doesn't make any difference. Don't be ridiculous here. Yeah. Thanks. What can he do to you? For one thing, he can refuse to let me marry you. Ah, that's sweetie really pegs. I like you in yellow. It brings out your hair. Straighten your tie. You look sloppy. Well, you look divine. Really? I haven't seen you look so lovely. Tell me something. Did you like many before me? Thousands. Seriously? Seriously? None. What about that girl in the photo? She lasted only for three months. When? Two years ago. What was her name? Clea. What was she like? She was a painter. Very clever, very honest and as cozy as a steel razor blade. When did you last see her? I told you two years ago. Then why did you keep her photo in your bedroom drawer? It was just there. Give me a kiss. No one in the world kisses like you. Tell me something, Bryn. Did you like it better with her or me? Like what? Sex effects. Look, people will be here any moment. Uh, put a record on. It better be something for your father. What does your father like? He doesn't like anything except military marches. I might have guessed. Uh, I think I got some. The last record on the shelf, uh, the orange cover, it's called Marching and Mud. Marching and murdering with Sosa or something. Uh, this one? That's it. The band of the Coldstream Guards? Ideal, just put it on. How do you switch it on? Uh, the last knob on the left. That's it. Let us pray. Oh God, let this evening go alright. Let Mrs. Bamberger like my work and buy some of them. Let Carol's monster father like me. Let my neighbor Harold Gorringe never find out that we borrowed his precious furniture behind his back. Amen. God, you blow a fuse. Oh no! It must be. It is. Oh no! Maybe there's a park out. Where's the box? Uh, in the hall. Have we any candles? No damn. Where are the matches? Uh, on the drink table. Uh, 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 no, try the studio. Oh, damn, damn. Yeah, yeah, no. Would you believe it? All right, I'm coming. You deaf? I'm coming. Hello? Hello? No, no. Uh, 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 I'm fine. Uh, uh, I'm fine. Uh, uh, and you? Uh, Karen, darling, uh, will you look in the bedroom? I haven't finished in here yet. Uh, well, uh, I, I've just remembered uh, there are some fuse wire in the bedroom. In the same drawer, we found the photograph. Go and get it, will you? I don't think so. Didn't see anything there. Stop arguing. Just look. 
All right, keep your hairpiece on. Uh, I'm sorry. I've just remembered. Uh, there are some fuse wires. You must have missed it. What about the matches? Well, we have to mend it in the dark. Please hurry, dear. Oh, how jolly. Hello. Hello. Uh, no, no, no. Uh, oh, uh, 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 I'm fine. Uh, 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 I'm fine. Uh, uh, stop saying what? Karen? Darling? Clea? Where are you calling from? Uh, I thought you were in Finland. But, but you had been gone last six weeks. Where are you speaking from? From the air terminal? No, 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 Clea, not tonight. I, I'm terribly busy. I'm afraid I can't get out of it. It's business. I told you, there's nothing in here except your drawery socks. We'll try the other drawers. Hello. Look, uh, uh, I'll, I'll call you tomorrow. Uh, where will you be? No. Hello. Hello. No, not tonight, Clea. Look. No. Uh, I know it's just around the corner. No, you can't come around. Look, situation has changed. Something has happened in the past month. I can't see anything here, Ben. Please. <coughs> Hello. Look, I, I can't discuss this over the phone. Yes. Huh? Has it got to do with what? It has. I mean, you can't expect things to stay frozen, can you? Don't we have any matches at all? Oh, stop wailing. No, no, not you. I I'll call you tomorrow. Bye. Bye. Goodbye. Who was that? Just a friend. Did you get the wires? I can't find anything there. We've got to get some matches. Uh, I'll try the pub. Uh, perhaps they'll have some candles as well. Help, help. Someone help me, please. Is that Miss Farnival? Mr. Miller? Yes. Mr. Miller? Yes. Thank God you're there. I was so frightened. Oh, have your lights gone too? Yes. Oh, must be a power cut. I don't think so. The street lights are on in the front. I saw them from the landing. Oh, must be the main switch of the house. Uh, where is that? Uh, it's in the cellar. It's all sealed up. No one is allowed to touch it but the electricity people. <laughs>